This time last year I was deciding whether or not to take a gap year and I did it and it was amazing but there wasn't so much information on YouTube or blogs and stuff like that so I thought I'd share my experience in case anyone's going through the same kind of thought process that I was going through. So I decided to take a gap year because college stressed me out way too much and the thought of going straight into full-time education just put me off. <laughs> so rather than like drop out or not go to uni at all, I thought I'd take a break. I also wanted to travel and earn a bit of money to do that traveling, so a gap year was just ideal for me. I changed my mind quite last minute. I'd already applied to uni and I already had an offer. Um, so I emailed them, asked if I could defer and they were totally fine with it. So it was a really easy decision for me to make. There are quite a few pros and cons if you are deciding to take a gap year. The main cons for me were graduating a year later, but now I'm thinking about it, that means nothing. Like you have your whole life ahead of you and one year is not going to make any difference. One thing I didn't think of before I took a gap year, but I would have now, was that a lot of your friends will go away to uni. So if you're like me, I had a very close knit group of friends um, in my hometown and everyone went away and it was a bit like, a bit of a shock, but if you have friends that are staying in your hometown with you, um, I had three or four, you will probably get closer to them, so whether that's a con or a pro, you can decide, but it didn't really bother me. One con that I didn't think of as a con before I took a gap year was working. Working isn't very fun. <laughs> like, they can be fun day to day, like you can work with people that you really enjoy. It really made me miserable working full time, um, and I actually quit two jobs because I just couldn't stand them anymore so yeah working can be a con but if you're like super rich and your parents can pay for everything on your gap year then do it <laughs> I'm jealous of you one con was was that I didn't really have enough time to plan it all where I only decided a couple of well, I think I decided in July so I only had until September to make a full plan I didn't have enough time to plan like money, getting a job, um, traveling, everything like that. So my plans kind of changed. I was going to go traveling to like Australia and New Zealand, but I didn't have enough time to save um, without having a full time job, which stressed me out. So I quit. So I ended up going into training instead, which was really, really amazing. But if you want to go traveling or something like that, then maybe plan in advance. But the pros are great. So you have a lot of freedom if you take a gap year, which you probably don't have before. After 14 years of full-time education and you suddenly have all this free time, it's like amazing. You don't have any coursework or revision or exams. I kind of missed having coursework and projects to focus on, but that's put me in a much better mindset for uni. It makes me want to learn again. Having the freedom to travel is amazing too. Obviously the main reason people go on gap years I think is to travel or work. Traveling is the main thing. Um, you can travel wherever you want in the world if you've got the money to do it or if you have the willingness to save. It's a cliche, but you know, you can you can gain a lot of independence from traveling. My actual experience of my gap year, um, I can probably sum it up for you as quick as I can. So I got a job, I got two months in and I just quit because I couldn't handle it anymore. And then two days after I quit, I went into railing. I went to Madrid, Barcelona, Paris, Milan, Budapest, uh, Prague, Berlin and Copenhagen and it was amazing, it was like the best month of my life. After I got back it was like Christmas time so I just had like a really nice, really relaxing Christmas and um, my mum also adopted a dog so I got to spend a lot of time with the new dog Don um, and that was really really amazing. Then in the new year I went vegan which was cool, obviously it's not a massive experience and it's probably something I should talk about in a different video. After a couple of months I got another job in retail and then I hated it again this time and I worked there for about four and a half months or five months and then again I just quit because I couldn't stand it anymore. I was working full time. Um, retail sucks, it really does. If, if, if you like retail then you impress me because I can't stand it. After that I went to Lisbon for a little holiday with Sam. We left like four days. Then I had a month and a half off of like everything. I focused on my hobbies so I did a lot of blogging, I tried to do some videos things like that, things I really really enjoy. Then for my birthday me and my friends went to Amsterdam and that was amazing. We were there for three days and it was the best birthday ever and then I moved to Cardiff. Cardiff is where I'm going to uni so me and Sam got a flat here and I'm really really excited to start. So if you are thinking about taking a gap year I say just go for it. 
Um, if you're like me in college or sixth form, like really overwhelmed you, then it will definitely be an amazing refresher and you'll feel so much better at uni. If you want to travel or work or do anything, it gives you so much more freedom. So it's definitely worth it. It's a year of your life and you can do whatever you want with it. Even if you don't do much, it's still, it's still yours to play with. If you want to take a gap year, then I definitely recommend it. I had the best year ever anyway, and I, I think it did me a lot of good. If you want to see any more videos about my travelling and stuff that I did, then I have those on my channel, I'll link them below. Um, I also blogged a little bit about my gap year, so you can read that um, on my website, which is justini.co.uk.